Yes, guys, thanks very much for checking out today's content. Today we are talking all about impact and the position I want to try and see your body at impact in regards to where your hands are, where your lower body is, where your weight is, where you're pointing. So we're going to try and cover all those points in today's lesson because the best players in the world do this so, so well. Even the golf, you play with golfers that are off scratch, two, three, single figure handicaps. They do this really, really well. Now, everyone's got a different type of golf swing. It looks differently, it, different lengths, different speeds, different tempo. But what the good players do is they get into a very strong impact position as they hit the shot. So what we're talking about here is the positioning as we strike the golf ball. And very first off, I always want to try and see a very a, a long line through your left side. Think of think a lot of golfers I see get into a decent impact, but they kind of look like this. So if you imagine drawing a straight line from my left shoulder, it's going straight through to my hand and to my hip and my knee and my, my left foot, but it's quite short. If you see someone more like that, you're thinking that's going to be a strong, powerful kind of through swing as well. Whereas sometimes people kind of get into, try and get into an impact position that the upper body just kind of gets over the ball and too much to the left. And they kind of feel like, okay, I'm hitting down on the ball, I'm on my left side, but it's not a really kind of really good impact position. Obviously it's definitely better than someone that's kind of falling more back onto the right side. So what I always want to try and see is a really long line up through that left arm, that left foot, left knee, hip, to shoulder and what we also want to see is the hands also joining that line as well so we've got a nice straight line between left all up that left side for right-handed golfers all right so we're going to try and feel lots of rotation and extension up through the shot as you're actually hitting it as well nothing worse than kind of being getting on your left side getting forwards but then just being kind of stuck as you get through impact so massively important to try and really kind of extend up through that left side as you go in so you create your height it's also a lot easier then to kind of release the golf club into a really strong position as well so making sure as you're working the club down so let's say we get to around about waist height a good checkpoint I always like to see here is that the, the shaft of the club is pointing pretty much parallel to the target line. And at this point now, we're going to start to see the, the hip start to rotate out to the target. The hands are going to be slightly forward of the ball. Left hip, left shoulder, left foot are all going to be pretty much in line. Body weight at this point is probably only 60% on my left side. See again, I see a lot of golfers try and get 100% of the body weight across. That's not the case, okay? If, you ever, if you've got opportunities to go and use a kind of biomechanics lesson, use the force plates, you'll be very surprised at how much your body weight does distribute throughout the golf swing. There's always lots of movement, but also it's not 100% on your left side as you're actually hitting the shot. It's a, I would say it's about 60, 40, to be honest, maximum. We're getting into there, press on the way, we generally kind of press on the way down into the left side, and then we rotate. So as we start to rotate, that's when it starts to even back out again. So you get a little bit more weight on your left side here, using the pressure, driving your pressure down into that left side, and then you're gonna extend it back up again. And as you're extending it back up again, your body weight will drop back to 60, 40, as opposed to let's say 80, 20, which again, they're very rough guideline, very rough estimates, because everyone's, everyone's generally different, but it's a good way of just kind of getting that, that information across that it's not kind of 80, 20, 80 20 because now we can't move we can't extend up through impact so it's just trying to make sure you get there pressure into that left side and as you start to rotate a couple of angles for you now shoulders will generally be about 20 degrees open to the left of the target the, the hips will be pointing approximately 45 degrees left of the golf ball and my hands will be on that left leg okay so trying to drive into that position there work the hands forward and you're gonna to have to feel that you are manipulating the hands a little bit on the way down to create that position because for me when I take my setup I have my left wrist a little bit cupped so that means it's a little bit that way okay so at sex I have a strong left hand that goes over the top I have, a, I have a cup position there but as I come into impact I'm actually gonna have it more a lot straighter a lot more extended as I come into impact so you're gonna to have to start to learn and feel these positions because the setup position and the impact position are two very different things as well. Getting the book, getting the club into position at impact, being able to rehearse it. I often tell a lot of golfers I teach to do this, just get that feel there. Shoulders will turn open, hips will turn open 45 degrees, body weight will shift a little bit more towards the left hand side, hands will be forward. And more often than not, 
because of that position, I can almost guarantee that you're going to bottom out the swing after the ball. And that's the, what we're trying to do. We're trying to hit down on the ball. We're trying to compress the ball. So the low point of the golf swing is going to be slightly after the ball. So that's when you get ball and then divot. So again, as you're coming down, feel that position, just turn into impact there. Body weight's 60, 40, hips have opened up, shoulders have opened up, hands are in line with the lead leg. Oh yes, that is the shot. Guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this tip. Please do drop in the comments below if you've got anything you want to add to this video or any questions you've got on the video. Always happy to answer any questions. I always respond, or at least I always try to respond. And I always will respond. I always respond. Okay, guys, also, if you've enjoyed this video, please do hit that like button. If this is something that you've needed, I am more than happy to help. And also, please do subscribe to the channel. We've got videos coming out on a Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday on YouTube, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday over on Facebook as well. But for today, from a glorious Dubai, the weather is getting a little bit better. We're down to 35 degrees Celsius, which is good. We're happy. The humidity is dropping. Life is coming back to normal. Thanks for watching, guys. See you again.